out of the worst. And do you see, and I know realtors tend to be perpetually optimistic, <clears throat> but realistically, do you see the next 12 months being better than the last? And I definitely believe we are out of the worst. And, uh, Why? What do you see that makes you feel that way? Because we are recovering. And uh, we are technically out of the recession. Um, can't have a double myth if you're out of the recession. We're seeing movement across the board now. It, it started in a million under, it moved up, and now all price points are moving. It's, it's a stable market, we're seeing, and a, a, a recovering market. Howard, do you agree with that? No, no question about it. Well, we've seen in the numbers for the first uh, eight months anyway that uh, in Douglas Selman we've had record volume and record profits. How much did you stress? At prices, well, at prices about 20% less on average. And we've seen it at all levels of the market, the low level, the middle, and the high. And I don't necessarily agree with Diane as it relates to next year's going to be better. I think that the market has reset. We are where we are. I don't think it's going to get much worse, and I don't think it's going to get much better for a while. I think this is the game. Fine, a while. Talking about a couple months, a couple no, years? No, you don't know. I mean, it could be three years, could be five years, could be two years. I don't know. Dan, your industry perhaps hit harder than, than any, almost any other. I mean, to Howard's point, I know Diane brought it up about the recession. I know that the NBER is such a round of recession. Do you believe that we are out of a real estate recession or a construction recession? Uh, we, we have seen on the private development side that um, there was a real hiatus last year of people even talking about uh, these projects. I think Howard's right. There's, there is a reset. I think the reset's happening. Now people are getting used to a new way of doing business. We're, we're seeing a much greater volume of uh, our developers, our pri the private developers in the industry, whether it's in residential or hotel or condominium, you know, office building, starting to talk about restart the discussion about projects that they put on the shelf a year or two ago. And we used to be able to borrow 5% or put, borrow 95%, put 5% of equity up. Those days are gone. So people are losing, are, are, are having to relearn how to make these, these projects uh, efficient and how to justify them. Th there is, the other side of the construction business is that there's a, there, there is a tremendous amount of public work happening. You know, you, you mentioned projects that weren't bothered downtown. That's a, you know, that's a public-private project. A lot of the money at the World Trade Center site is, uh, is state and federal, and some of it's private. And there is um, a huge resurgence of that type of work around the country. We see it. And part of it's be because of stimulus. Part of it's because the, the country just has to continue to reinvest in its infrastructure. Jeff, you one of these companies that wants to start new projects? I would say I, I completely agree with the haves and have-nots in terms of cities across the United States. Uh, I think you really have New York and Washington uh, that, that stand out up here, and then you have the rest of the country in terms of, kind of if you would call it an economic recovery. Uh, you wouldn't consider, or certainly we wouldn't consider, I think most people would agree, starting development outside of those two cities today. <laughs> and I'm going to do a deal where I can come in, whether it's a new build or a renovation, about four or five hundred thousand a year. Uh, then it works, cash flow means, and then you can make money. Uh, as far as residential, you know, I would do a very special unique kind of property. I might have moved to pass, speaking to Jeff and Dan backstage, one, one person has asked me to spend $500 putting SIR to do a, a small condominium property. And that's what they're thinking about it. Assuming that I can get like between $25 and $50 as well. It's a sales price. Right? But I just I feel that there is a Uh, 
uh, and we're expecting the second half of this year to exceed what occurred in the first half of this year. So from a volume perspective, we believe that we're past the bottom. And looking back in hindsight, clearly the second quarter of 2009 was the bottom of the trough in the volume side of, of the equation. With respect to value, uh, from the peak of the market in 2007, values on average are down about 32%. Clearly, the market is in a position where it's trying to find its footing and is really not quite there yet. Give us some good news. <laughs> the thing that from a broker's perspective, we dislike the most is inertia. When nothing is happening, that's, that's terrible. Now, at least there's activity, and we're expecting that, particularly towards the end of this year, we're gonna have a lot of activity. And Howard, the same question then to Bob's point to both of you. Uh, you're talking about you know, the Hamptons, and they said, oh, you know, volume was up 70% in the Hamptons over last year. Problem is last year was zero, you know? I mean, there's nothing. So I think you have to worry about the comps when you copy against numbers that were basically non existent. Yeah, Diane, uh, do, you, do you agree with that? I mean, is that the same thing that you're seeing? Because we've got 10 years of no net stock market gain, right? I mean, so if things finally start to move in the stock market. I, I think the consumer confidence is, is definitely a factor. Uh, I have always watched that. Uh, the interesting thing I see right now, though, is we are absolutely in a perfect storm. I've been in this business over 30 years. I've never seen the perfect storm of value pricing, a choice of, of good properties, and interest rates the lowest I've ever seen. And yet, I am seeing no urgency in the market right now. And that is, to some degree, If you're not sure you're gonna have a job next month, you're not gonna buy, you're not gonna buy a house or build. But do you think that New York can remain as immune as we have been the last two years, you know, year and a half? It's hard to say. I mean, New York benefits from really being uh, much more diversified than it's ever been. Still very dependent on the financial service sector. There were some good bonus news that all came out of the paper this week. I think that'll play out to the confidence. And there's always a flurry of condo sales when that news comes out. Uh, so that's good. Um, you know, I think I think New York is tenuous. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be tough to maintain and keep it up. So that's why I'm not quite why, as excited why, about Why can't keep it up? Because we're really just bouncing along the bottom today. And I just, I don't see what's there that's going to cause the growth. Yeah. But will there be a down? Well, will it be? I mean, just from observing, because who knows, but I, I'm just observing, I think it's really bad. Right, now Dan, this is called the road to recovery, I think, right? I mean, it just seems a little more, a little more negative on the 